Oh, hi. Got some Pokemon cards here this time. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while. <laughs> well, I do usually try to get these ones. I like to collect all the promos, so I saw... These ones, I don't usually get the three packs. I just get these. But I saw these were at Walmart. Same price as this. So this is five bucks each, and this is five bucks. And I was like, you can get these three cool special cards as well. Might as well. So... Let's get into it. I'll start with the regular two packs. We'll do Mantine first. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, these are all off of the new Rebel Clash series. The newest of the Sword and Shield brand. Actually, what's the story in the back? The story is, rock out with new Pokemon. Crank it loud and blast the beat. You'll find rebellion, chaos, and punk attitude galore in the Pokemon Ch TCG Sword and Shield Rebel Clash expansion. Loaded with Pokemon V, including Toxtricity V, Dubwool V, Bolton V, Sandicona V, and more. You'll also find a handful of Pokemon V Max, including the final evolutions of all three first partners, plus Copperaja. VMAX and Dragapult VMAX. Take to the stage in the streets with the Sword and Shield Rebel Class expansion. Cool. It's kind of random usually. The expansions I thought made sense with the series. But this is just random Rebel. <laughs> oh my god, look at this Rebel right here. God, he is a Rebel. Metin. Yeah. Promo. Rebel. <laughs> Uh huh. There you got this. This is uh, what is this? Kangamore O. The code. Ooh, look at that. Wow. Let's see what's in here. And even though this doesn't sound loud in real life, this is gonna be blasting on the movie, the video, whatever the heck I'm trying to say. Always when I open these, it's so much louder in the video. In real life, this isn't that bad. But the video, they'd be like, <laughs> the video, even though it's right down here, will sound like this. <laughs> okay, take that bad boy off. A schlonk. What do we got? Galar and Farfetched. What's the difference? He went from colorless to fighting? Otherwise, he's the same. Hmm, Rock Smash and Piers. These moves kind of suck. The Farfetch'd of the Galar region are brave warriors, and they wield thick, tough leaks in battle. Yeah, that's exactly the same as a regular Farfetch. Come on! Get real. Ooh, Galar and Meowth's kind of cool. About time they do something with Meowth. Meowth's kind of boring, you know? He's one of those standard characters that you always know about, like Pikachu, but they don't do anything with him. This Meowth's kind of cool. Steel version. Evolution Roar. You must discard two cards from your hand in order to use this ability. What three you may search your deck for a galar and Perserker. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck afterward. <coughs> Ooh. Scratch 20. What the colorless and steel? <laughs> Living with a savage, seafaring people has toughened this Pokemon's body so much that parts of it have turned to iron. Why does this one have horns though? It's kind of weird. <laughs> Just a regular old Caterpie. Adaptive evolution, they always give them that nowadays. For protection, it releases a horrible stench from the antenna on its head to drive away enemies. Oh God, what's that smell? <laughs> Galarin Corsola. Really, they made a Galarin version of Corsola? Like nobody cared about Corsola in the first place. <laughs> and look, great move, curse drop, put three damage. Uh, okay, maybe that's not bad. <laughs> well, in the end, it's only 30. But then it says in any way you like. So does that mean you can do like... I don't know how the damage counters work if there's different values. I always think of them as just 10. But if it's different values, like if there's 50s, then this could do 150 damage. Hmm. When you step... Whoops, watch your step in wandering areas. Areas, oceans once covered. What looks like a stone could be this Pokemon. And it will curse you if you kick it. You know, one thing I was just thinking about, I never looked into. Do the the regional um, versions count as another Pokemon? So, like, there's regular Carsola and then Galarin Carsola. Or that Meowth. Or all the Alolan forms. Do those count as an additional number in the in the grand scheme of all? Like, you know, the first 150 and then now, now they're up to 700 and whatever. Do these count? Or does it just count as Corsola? 
but this is Galarian. Hmm. Lay out Weak. Scorch. Your opponent's active Pokemon is not bad. The flame model's head keeps his body slightly warm. This Pokemon takes lost children by the hand to guide them to the spirit world. What? So it basically kills kids? It's kind of dark. <laughs> okay, first up. I mean, it's kind of cool, but it's not a rare. It's just an uncommon. That's disappointing. But then again, I don't have any of these cards, so they're cool no matter what. But you know what I mean. Chateau. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to be. Chat it. Chateau. I don't know. Chateau. I don't know. Lucky match. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may flip a coin. If you have put a supporter card from your discard pile into your hand. Glide 30. Holy crap, you can actually see this card much better in the video than I can in real life. There's a ridiculous glare. Wasn't sure if that's how it was looking in the video, but it's looking fine in the video. It can learn and speak human words. If they gather, they all learn the same saying. Oh, you know what I just noticed? They put, they put all this stuff down here nowadays. That's not normally on the cards. That's something new. Okay, let's see what my rare is. Something awesome? Nope. Greedent. Balsam Squavet. Greedy Pokemon. Basically a squirrel. Greedy Tail. Let's dream your program. You search your deck for a Pokemon tool card. Reveal it and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your decks. Tail Smack 80. It stashes berries in its tail. So many berries that they fall out constantly. But this Pokemon is a bit slow with it, so it doesn't notice the loss. Low witted, so it's kind of like a makes me think of like Bidoof and Bibberol. <laughs> Schleink. Ooh, everyone's favorite energy. <laughs> Top entry. Well, it's during your turn. If you drew this Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn and your bench isn't full, before you put it into your hand, you may put it onto your bench. Huh? Once during your turn, if you do the Pokemon from your deck at the beginning of your turn, and your bench is in the floor. Before you put it in here. Oh, okay. Zap cap, 30. Strong electricity courses through the tips of its sharp claws. A light scratch causes fainting and foes. <laughs> Just immediately faint. Oh, God. Durant. Iron ant. Gathering food. For each energy attached to this Pokemon, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Middle Claw 80. Shing, shing. They lay their eggs deep inside their nests when attacked by heat more. They retaliate using their massive mandibles. Yeah, that's kind of a given. I didn't know these are real. They'd be creepy. They're one foot high. I don't know what that means. If it's that tall or that long, it's huge. A 72 pound bug? Oh, word. Last up, Pala Sand. A Volsen City Ghast. Basically, somebody just built up the sandcastle a little bit more and made it better. <laughs> it was a pile of dirt, and now it's a sandcastle. Psychic? How is a psychic? Jeez, four for retreat cost? Sand Sink. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. If this Pokemon has a cursed shovel attached, discard two more cards from the top of your opponent's deck. Super absorption. 90. Kill 30 damage from this Pokemon. What's this? Whipped up the sand so it's a hot it's a in their tracks. This terrifying Pokemon snatches away their vitality. Cool. That was deck number one. Or pack, whatever. Now knocked owl. Time for some extremely loud pack opening. <laughs> Same picture, just him. I don't know his name. And also a Kyongo Mao. Oh, whatever its name is. Look at this promo knocked owl. Wing attack 40 carry off. Choose one of your opponent's best Pokemon. They shuffle that Pokemon and all attached cards into their deck, then shuffle all this Pokemon and all attached cards into your deck. What in the heck? So basically, you both have to shuffle some out. Only this one, you don't have a choice for yours, but you have a choice on theirs. 
When it needs to think, it rotates its head 180 degrees to sharpen its intellectual power. That's weird. It has to look backwards to think better. <laughs> Let me just, well, it's not breaking its neck. They say owls can do it, but you know what my joke is supposed to be. Okay, time to open this loud bad boy. Come on, come on. Come on there, Bobby. <laughs> All right, and a schlank and a schlank. Bingo, collect, draw a card. We flashed 20. Maybe it makes its nest on sheer cliffs. Right in the sea breeze. Sea breezes. Sea breezes, that's from a uh, all, all Nick Swartzen skit. <laughs> sea breezes. Riding a sea breeze, it glides up into the expanse of skies. <laughs> Schlank Nadu. Me first. <laughs> wow. Draw a card. Great move. It is extremely good at climbing tree trunks and likes to eat. The new sprouts on the trees. Oh wow, so it's like springtime, the tree's trying to grow and this thing's just like, F you, uh, it's winter still. Barboge, Razorfin, 10. Yeah, that sounds real strong. Razor, and only, pff, 10. Its slimy body is hard to grasp. In one region, it is said to have been born from hardened mud. <laughs> okay. Scrub it. Cheeky Pokemon. Tackle 10, bite 20. Powerful. Found throughout the Glow region, this Pokemon becomes uneasy if its cheeks are ever completely empty and bare. Really? You're getting all uncomfortable? Oh my god, my mouth is not jam packed full. Oh my god. <laughs> Next up, Apple. Oh my word. Some of these Pokemon that come up with are so dumb. Really? You're gonna make an Apple Pokemon? You ran out of ideas? What's next? A grain of sand that's gonna be clustered together like execute, how that was just a cluster of eggs. Withdraw off the coin if heads. During your opponent's next turn, perform all damage done to this Pokemon by attack. <laughs> it's just annoying though and pointless. 40 HP and it just It's like when you play the game, like you do protect in those dumb annoying moves. What's the point? It spends its entire life inside an apple. It hides from its natural enemies bird Pokemon by pretending it's just an apple and nothing more. Oh, so this isn't an apple, it's like a worm that just doesn't evolve and somehow the apple doesn't get all rotted. <laughs> all right, so first thing, a full shiny common. What is he, in front of a mirror? It's showing his back. Ram 10, speed dive 20. Just it appears in an ancient ruins. The patterns on its body doesn't come from any culture in the Glar region, so it remains shrouded in mystery. Yeah, that's because Bronzor didn't come from Galore region. It came from, what was it, X and Y days? What was that, that was an OVA? Butterfree? That's cool, but. I want. You know what I want. I want them ultra rares, hyper rares. That's just a regular Butterfree that's not even hollow. Mm -hmm. And one of the original Pokemon, really, Butterfree. <sighs> Panic Poison 30. Your opponent's like the Pokemon's not burned, confused, and Poison. They should put that in the game. Then these dumb powders they always have would be worth it. They got Stun Spore and Sleep Powder and what's the other one? Poison Powder, but this would be cool. Burned, confused, and poisoned. <laughs> They'd break the game. Cutting wind, 80. In battle, it flips its... It flips. Flaps! It swings at great speed to release highly toxic dust into the air. Yeah, Butterfly's all, like, cute and sweet looking, but it's super toxic. Unlike Beedrill, which looks aggressive, and that's really all it's got going, is that it's just like, I'm gonna get you with my... My... Daggers. Energy, everyone's favorite. What in the heck, Morgan? <laughs> Morgrem evolves from Impidimp. <laughs> Stupid. Bite 30. Fall surrender 60. This attacks and damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's Pokemon. 
when it gets down to all fours as if to beg for forgiveness. It's trying to lure opponents into, I mean, in so that it can stab them with its spear-like hair. Wow, that's psychotic. Next, Metacham. It's like the noise it makes in the games. <laughs> Meditate, Pokemon. Yoga Kick 40. This attack's damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. Okay, the resistance part's cool. Weakness, though, that sucks. If you're strong against this, you know, it's weakness is fighting, you're just gonna do 40 <laughs> instead of 80. Psychic, which uses colorless energy. Makes sense. 60 plus attacks is 20 damage more. I mean, does 20 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. Hmm. So it kind of can do a lot, kind of. Through yoga training, it gained the psychic power to predict its foe's next move. Through yoga training? Yoga isn't any kind of psychic stuff, that's just being able to be flexible and such. <laughs> Talk about flip a coin of head, search your deck for a Pokemon, reveal it, and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. You may play any number of item cards during your turn. Schlike? Okay, now for the big boys. So I thought this one would be cooler because Zigzagoon has been my boy since uh, Ruby and Sapphire days because of Pickup. And then I heard about Galarian, Galarian Lanoon and I didn't really even know about Obstagoon, which is cool too. So let's check this out. Schlink? Link, and then this is just a Ludicolo, I mean a Lucario, a Lucario. Ooh. All right, let's check out these super sexy cards. Hold on, where's the code? Good, it's upside down. See you over there. Ooh, recyclable, number one. <laughs> Probably up until after I obviously that last part. P.E.T. Galarian Zigzagoon. Headbutt Tantrum. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may put one damage counter on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Surprise attack from opponent fails and says nothing. That means your surprise failed. You yelled surprise instead of just going for it. Thought to be the oldest form of Zigzagoon, it moves in zigzags and wreaks havoc upon its surroundings. How is this the oldest form of Zigzagoon if we're just discovering it now? Original Zigzagoon should be the oldest form. <laughs> Kalarin Lenun. Night Slash, switch this Pokemon with your bench Pokemon. Hammerin, 70. This very aggressive Pokemon will recklessly challenge opponents stronger than itself. And then... Sweet Galarian Obstagoon. Untamed Shout. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, you may put three damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Abstract. During your opponent's next turn, prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by attacks from basic Pokemon. Whoa. That's a pretty decent move. 90 damage and a cool secondary ability like that. It evolved after experiencing numerous fights. While crossing its arms, it lets out a shout that would make any opponent flinch. Okay, maybe that answers the question. I was just gonna say, how come Lanoon's never had a known evolution? All of a sudden, the Galarian one has Obstagoon. But maybe that answers it. It says it evolved after experiencing numerous fights. So I guess it just fights a lot and... You know what, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna change the way I look. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but ooh. You know, this video is actually going on for way longer than I thought. <laughs> I still have another pack to do. I'm already at 20 minutes. Oh boy. Actually, I still have two packs to do. I'm just opening this one now. Oh my word, that's even worse now that I say that. Schlink. Schlink. Schlank. Ooh, Magmar. Even though he's original. Oh, him and Electro, uh, Electro Buzz are both cool. Even though they're original OJs. Wait, that just means original, original 
They're not really G's. Mm. Maybe that doesn't apply. Anyways, punch 10. I don't know why that's so weak. And then heat breath. 20 plus. Flip coin of his is attacked as 31. Jeez, why do they make him Magmar so pathetic? He's much stronger than being able to do 50 or 10. <sighs> entire body is burning. When it breathes, the temperature rises. When it sneezes, flame shoot out. <laughs> 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 Well, oh, that's weird. I was just talking about I like the buzz. There he is. <laughs> uh, obviously, I didn't cheat. You saw me open this pack right in front of you. <laughs> Knuckle Punch, 10. Electro Slug, 70. See, that's a little better. 70, still not as great as it could be. They both have a weak 10 move, you know? Well, it's often blamed for power outages. The truth is, the cause of outages is more often an error on the part of the electric company. <laughs> Oh, so they're just basing their story on real life. Schlink. Aww. Squab it again. Schlink. Snover. Snover's changing his uh, his style, his uh, whatever, his this all the time. Type. Grass, and then I've had one that was um, water. Isn't there one that's ice? <sighs> he should be ice, though. He looks like he's a winter tree. Tree with snow on the top. Yeah, frost tree. He shouldn't be grass. He should be an ice type. Or they like could just make a new hybrid one that's ice grass. That would probably make the most sense. Anyways, beat 20. Whatever that means. Razor leaf 50. It lives on snowy mountains. It sinks its legs into the snow to absorb water and keep its own temperature down. Absorb water so it melts the snow. Ah, hmm. uh, Nado again with his great me first move. Wait a minute. Me first, me too. Uh oh. Hatrim evolves from Nadina. Combine Hill 3. Damn it. Wow, that voice that I'm doing does not match. It says Serene Pokemon. I'm doing like a. I don't even know. <laughs> Brutal Sweet. Flip by coin. If hands. This attack does 30 more damage. So it could do 60. No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. Okay, there you go, violently. That's how the voice works. Okay, my rare, come on, be super ultra awesome. Nope, it's not. God damn it. Well, I mean, it's cool. What is this? Glarian Runnerigus? Runnerigus? It evolves from Glarian Yen Mask. Huh? I mean, it's a cool card. It's just not super ultra hyper rare. <laughs> Mad Hammer, 120. This opponent does, Pokemon does 30 to itself. Really? You only have 100 HP as it is. Now you're down to 70. Come on. Spring Spike. Each damage counter. Huh? On this Galarian Runnerigus, runner, put two damage, on, damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon anyway. Like, okay, yeah, that's decent because while you're hurting yourself, then you can hurt others too. Mm. A powerful curse was woven into an ancient painting. After absorbing the spirit of a Yan Mask, the painting began to move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Such a dumb story. <laughs> Ugh, energy. Funny because grass, grass. Lombre! Top entry again. Let me guess. You have to put it on your bench if you or anything. Okay, we can skip that. Fury swipes, flipping coins, and attacks, 40 damage for each hand. 120 total, potentially, or nothing. That kind of sucks, especially if you get nothing. You're like, I cut out 120, even just 40, and I got nothing! <laughs> it is nocturnal and becomes active at nightfall. It feeds on aquatic monsters that grow in the riverbed. Cool. Next. Hi, Lucha! He's a Mexican wrestler. Windfall, shuffle your hand into your deck, then draw five cards. Speed attack, 30. It's kind of weak. It drives its opponents to exhaustion with its agile maneuvers, then ends the fight with a flashy finishing move called speed attack, which only does 30, so it really does nothing. Not much of a finisher. <laughs> Whoa, indeedy. It's an emotion Pokemon. God, what's up with all these emotions they're like, coming up with nowadays? All, all with the ass spirit and all them mess spirit as elf then the other one that i was doing the sinister voice on was was a motion type this is serene but it's like a motion this clearly just straight up says emotion whoa number 876 oh crap they're getting up there they have a thousand soon unless they already do i don't know dang two foot 11 71 point i mean 61.7 pounds you're kind of overweight <laughs> 
Two for 11? Kids are usually two for 11, they're like 30 pounds. So, so you're double the weight. Maybe you're just thick. Maybe you're a little ripped. Got some heavy muscles. I don't know. You don't look like you'd be though. You're just sweeping. You're not like working out. Anyways, we're punch time. Heal 30 yards from me. Each of your Pokemon? Whoa, oh, that's a decent move. Cybeam. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. These intelligent Pokemon touch horns with each other to share information between them. Touch horns? Um, do you see a horn anywhere? Because I don't. What in the heck? Alright, last one. The sexy, ghastly Hunter Gengar. Ooh. <laughs> This one's not opening very nicely. Stop it, you're being ugly. There you go. Oh, ooh. Ooh. And we just got another blue Cario, whatever it is. Okay, pop that over there. Pop that over there. Another number one. Pop that over there. Switch these around. Ooh, ghastly. Feed out. Put this Pokemon and all attached cards into your hand. 20. So he does damage and then gets out of here. <laughs> it's kind of a B-word move. Born from gases, anyone would faint if engulfed by its gaseous body, which contains poison. Yeah, uh, it clearly needs to let one rip, hence why it's turning into poison. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Hunter, 70, nightmare. Or, it's your fucking nightmare! I guess Hunter really likes Avenged Sevenfold. <laughs> your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Well, maybe he doesn't like Avenged Sevenfold if you're gonna fall asleep. I don't know. Spooky Shot 40. Its tongue is made of gas. If licked his victim star, she can come Stanley until death eventually comes. <laughs> Weakness. Ooh, back in the day, I don't think they had a weakness. And ever since they came out with Dark now, I mean, yeah, Dark now, you have Dark that can go against you. Gengar, 110. <laughs> Life Shaker. Look at that. The, the, the hollow color look cool. Is that the club? <laughs> As often as you like to turn your turn, you may move one damage counter from one of your psychic Pokemon to another of your psychic Pokemon. So basically, you can keep Gengar alive forever if he was your active one. You just take all the damage off of him and put him on someone else. Hypnoblast. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep. Hmm. It's a decent move, too. And then you can use Life Shaker to kind of heal yourself up while they're sleeping. <laughs> on the night of a full moon. If shadows move on their own and laugh, it must be Gengar's doing. I never understood this, though. He's supposed to be like a ghost and stuff, and he's 4'11", 89 pounds. But yet, Gastly and Haunter weigh nothing. They're like 0. 0.2 pounds. Haunter, 5'3", 0. 0.2 pounds. Gastly, 4'3", 0. 0.2 pounds. Gengar shrinks. He was five something. Now he's four eleven. He gains tons of weight. God, the math on that's some extreme weight gain. All right, last pack. Somebody cool and thin. Ooh. I only know the Sword and Shield characters yet, so deal with it. <laughs> I'm trying. I bought Sword and Shield games. I have, I mean, cards. I have one of the games. Although I've been slacking on playing. I've been doing Saints Row instead. <laughs> Probably already saw it. It's a flip over. Nadu again. Ooh, trubbish. Ooh, Venoshock, Venoshock. Hmm. If your opponent's active Pokemon is poison, this attack does 50 more damage. 
okay, that's cool, other than that, he can't cause poisoning, though, so you'd have to rely on someone else to have done that, and then you switch out and put him in, and then that'll do 70. Maybe that Butterfree? <laughs> its favorite place, sis, are unsanitary ones. If you leave trash lying around, you could even find one of these Pokemon living in your room. <laughs> well, then you're pretty dank if you got one of these moving on in. Pit of. Chirp. Chirp. Search your deck for up to two Pokemon with fighting resistance. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Then shuffle your deck. Razor Wing 20. Where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you're scattering food for them, be careful. Several hundred of them can gather at once. <laughs> so they're basically pigeons. Just like real ones. Heliop Tile. Thunderjawed. Does a Pokemon also does 10 damage to itself? That's a horrible move. Jeez, it doesn't even do much to begin with. I just can see if that was like a hundred. You're an electric type and you're hurting yourself. Just thunder drill thing. That'd be like a human having the ability to walk. This t this does ten damage. I don't, I don't know. You end up cutting your feet. <laughs> what, why didn't I just put shoes on? <laughs> when spread the frills on its head. Ignite solar panels, generating the power behind this Pokemon's electric moves. Schlunk. Schlink. Voltorb. Continuous tumble. For the coins, you get hit up tails. This attack does 20 damage for each head. Whoa. So, basically, if you got lucky, you could do some extreme damage with this. He looks weak and pathetic. It's just a Voltorb 50 HP. But if you got like 20 heads in a row for some weird reason, this is 400 damage. Even if your character had resistance, it's still 200 it's taken. Chances are it's dead. And a dumb little Voltorb would take out something pretty extreme. <laughs> Not bad. Potentially. Usually found in power plants. Well, that's the whole sentence. I thought there, <laughs> there would be a comma. Usually found in power plants. Easily mistaken for a Pokeball, it has zapped many people. <laughs> and what the heck? Okay. <laughs> this is my shiny one. <laughs> a double, basically. That's cool. Thanks. Awesome. <sighs> and then my rare is not even what I want. The hollow, blah, 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 like I was saying. Ultra rare, blah, blah, blah. Egg slash. Big shield. All your Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks after playing with You can't play more than one big shield ability at a time. All of your Pokemon take 30 less. How, how long does that last? This is just. Hmm. It could be cool, but I'm not sure how that works. After playing weakness and resistance? So that means if you had resistance also, that's minus 60. It's not bad. A move that does 60 or less will just do nothing. Power Edge, 130. In this defensive stance, Egglash, Egglash uses its steel body and a force field of spectral power to reduce the damage of any attack. Wow, cool. See, oh, 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 energy, my favorite. Let's see if they put grass after again. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Or chateau, chateau, whatever, whatever. Ooh, what's this? Drekloak evolves from Dreepy. <laughs> Caretaker Pokemon? It looks like it's got a Dreepy on its head, actually. Is that a Dreepy on its head? Probably is, because look at the Dreepy in the corner. Like I said, I don't really know these characters yet, so I don't know if that is a Dreepy, but it looks like the thing in the corner. Summon, search your deck for a Dreepy and put it onto your Pokemon's head. Shuffle your deck. Bite 40. Bite 40. <laughs> it's capable of flying faster than 120 miles an hour. Jeez. How does it fly? Oh, it just uses like its head or something. Wait, how does it fly? How's it propelling itself? I see how the, its head could help it glide, but... What? I don't know. 
It battles alongside Dreepy and dotes on them until they successfully evolve. Okay, so that is a Dreepy on its head. So this is almost like a Kangaskhan kind of how it walks around with a baby inside of it. Only it's a little bit different. The Dreepy's just hanging out. <laughs> Next. Lampend. Top entry. Oh my word, what's up with top entry on everybody? Jeez, way to not have unique moves. Reignite 20. Touch of fire energy card. If you're a discard pile to where your Pokemon. Hmm. That could be decent. If you have like a really strong fire type and it had to use all its energies to do one major move and then you benched it, you could keep using this as long as he was able to sustain. And then you could recharge him and then boom, switch him out and you're dead. Hmm. Mm, this Pokemon appears just before somebody passes away. So it's feared as an emissary, emiss, emissary of death. Well, that's weird. It's, that kind of got dark quickly. Whew, wow, that's it. 35 minute video. God dang. I did not think this would go that long. I mean, at the end of the day, I still got to do the, the football part. It's season 2, episode 2 of Weekly Doubles. And I didn't want to do that because I was like, that's going to take forever. <laughs> And this ended up taking forever, so I guess I defeated my whole purpose. Oh well. I guess if you want to look at it as far as neatness, uh, my weekly doubles are neatly packed away for now until I'm ready to get to them. Where these cards were just kind of hanging out in the packs on my desk, and I was like, I gotta clean that up. Anyhow, before this goes any longer, um, until next time, I'm pretty sure you already know. I said, see.